with Crafty Life Mom. I am sitting outside the Dollar Tree in the month of July and I am going shopping for all the fall things. So I thought it would be fun to do a kind of shop with me video. So I'm sitting outside in the front parking lot and I already see like fall florals that they have wheeled out. And I just think that it's hilarious that in the crafting world, like all of the <laughs> Dollar Tree crafters that are out there, we're all into the fall right now. It's like, you know, like we, we can't wait and we have to figure out what it is we're going to make for all of our fall, fall decor. So <laughs> I'm excited, just like you are, to go and see what they have in store for fall. And I can already tell you by looking at the florals that they have out there, I already know I'm going to grab a few bundles. So, um, real quick tip, if you're watching this video and you're thinking, oh my gosh, you guys are crazy. Why are you shopping for all the fall things in the month of July when it's blazing hot in Florida? Well, let me tell you why. Here is the fun quick tip. It will not be here in the fall. When September and October hit your third, fourth, and final waves of all of your fall things that you can find at the Dollar Tree will be gone. So you have to get it when the stores get it or when they first put it out. Otherwise, you will, you'll just end up without it. So you have to start early, you have to go, and you have to get all the fall things so that when fall comes, you're ready to decorate. So enough of me talking, let's go inside. I'll show you what I find. I'm back home. I actually filmed this video over two different shopping trips. So I went two times within the week to the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to show you the items that I picked up because they did actually get a couple of more things in in between those two shopping trips. And so I wanted to go ahead and show you that, but I wanted to tell you that it was over two shopping trips. And this is like what's in the store now. So when, if you're watching this video, you can go ahead and start to pick up your fall things. Now, as you saw in the clips in the beginning, a lot of back to school items were actually um, in the stores. There was more back to school items than the fall things, but fall is coming and the stores are starting to get it out. I actually talked to one of the managers at the Dollar Tree that I went to and they said that a lot of fall things will be out by August 1st or a little bit thereafter. So if you are into fall anytime soon, like I am, 
then you'll probably want to hit up your Dollar Tree um, to go ahead and see what they have in store for decorating for fall and pick up some any back to school items that you might need for your kids. So speaking of back to school, I just wanna show you the few things that I picked up. These are items that are not on their list, but I thought would just be helpful into making our back to school time a little easier. So all of my kids, they are in elementary school and they all have sight words. And I picked up these Jot Index Card file notebooks. They have this spiral on them in little dividers. And I thought this would be perfect for putting their sight words in there so that we can flip through the deck of cards. Oh, they have those little file folders that pop in and out. We could flip through the deck of cards and actually keep them all in one place um, because sometimes they go missing in my house. I don't know why that is, but um, we have our bands, but for some reason it doesn't always keep them. I'm missing a word or two. So I thought this might solve that problem. And so I picked up one for each of my kids. I also, because my kids love to have lots of uh, keychains and little bobble things hanging from their backpacks, I picked up for my two boys these little hooks here so that they can put all of their little keychains and things on their backpacks. They actually wanted these. I think they are a little big for that, but you know, I try to be a cool mom when I can, so we'll see how this works on their backpacks. Then for all three of mine, it's not really required, but we do homework sometimes on the fly, and I thought it would be fun to put a couple of pencils and crowns inside their school agendas. So I picked up these three um, of, in my kids' favorite colors to put inside their agendas, so they always have a pencil handy to do homework. Um, I don't know, I might personalize these and put their name on them, or just kind of leave them. We will see about that. Then another thing that I picked up is um, this super cute composition notebook. It has coffee and donuts patterns all over it. And I don't know if I'm gonna give this to like one of the teachers or if I'm gonna keep it for myself. It was the only one that I saw. It's just super cute and so I could not pass that up along with these stickers. They are adult, adulting stickers. Um, I enjoy long walks away from everyone. Adulting is like folding a fitted sheet. These were just too cute. I might put some of these in my planner. I'm not sure, but I couldn't not get those. Now, the last few things that I got from the school supplies section are these magic cover, um, it's like vinyl, but it's not vinyl, but this comes out every year for back to school. So if you're new with using your Cricut or Silhouette machine and you don't wanna waste that good expensive vinyl, then pick up some of these for practice or even for stenciling. I haven't tried these for stenciling, just kind of like a little bit of vinyl projects here and there on the fly. And this works really great for that or for practicing, practicing weeding, um, this is just really great, inexpensive. These are the three colors that they have, and it is great because it's kind of like a colored contact paper. It's in the back to school section, but it's called Magic Cover, not vinyl, and it's actually made for covering your books. I don't know if you remember that from like the 80s and the 90s, everybody used to cover their books. Well, this is that stuff, but it's kind of like a removable vinyl. So, this is a good buy for now because you won't, I don't see it in my Dollar Tree. I just hit myself in the cheek. I don't see it in my Dollar Tree year round. I only see it at back to school time. So I always pick up a few and I don't know, it's usually gone by the next time uh, it rolls around again. So I'm always picking up just a handful of these to have on hand. In addition to that, separate from, usually separate from the back to school section or the stationary section. You can find in the home section, the clear magic cover, but this one is actually called contact paper or quick cover, the clear cover. I use this as opposed to buying the expensive transfer paper. Um, it's just a good savings. It sticks well enough to pick the vinyl up off the backing and transfer it to the item that you're putting it on so it's not super, super sticky. It's called shelf and drawer liner and it's very inexpensive for when you're doing a lot of vinyl projects. So go and pick up a couple rolls of this in the clear. 
All right. The last few things that I picked up, or the last thing that I picked up from the back to school stationery section was a couple of these wooden rulers. I know you're probably asking, why do I need so many packs of these wooden rulers? Well, I have a DIY coming up with these that I'm going to be using these. So if you want to follow along on any of the DIYs, if you're in the Dollar Tree, you might want to pick up a pack or two of these because I have a DIY that we're going to do. And I found this 2020, I know we're not even halfway through the year yet, and I've picked up a 2020 calendar. And the reason I picked up this calendar is because I recognize this print, this pattern of florals. I have seen this print for a few years, and I was just shocked that it landed on a calendar in the Dollar Tree. It's just a beautiful floral print, and on the back you can see like all the months. And so... I really don't need a calendar like this, but I thought this might be cute for some DIYs or maybe to frame some artwork in the springtime or even the summertime. And so if I don't end up using the calendar as an actual calendar, the beautiful prints in here, I just couldn't pass up for a dollar. So I picked up one of these. Now, moving on to the fall things that I did get. Um, I will show you. So first up, and I'm sure if you've watched any other videos, you've seen some of these items, but I picked up the wooden pumpkins, two white ones and one orange one. They are super cute. I'm not sure that I'm going to leave them this way. I will probably uh, DIY them into something different for home decor, so stay tuned for that and pick up a couple of these wooden pumpkins if you want to follow along. I also picked up just one, which I wish I would have gotten more, but I only got one, so I'll be looking to see if they get more of these in at my local Dollar Tree. Um, the thankful sign with the buffalo check edge. I just really love that. It's super trendy with the buffalo check, and I love the green and light watercolor type of pumpkin fall decor there, so super cute. I'll be keeping this as is and putting probably on my coffee bar. Moving on to, let me show you this. First, actually, I picked up a couple of these fabric um, swatches or pieces of fabric in the Dollar Tree. This is actually navy and white. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera. It is, I've never seen fabric at the Dollar Tree before, so this is new for my Dollar Tree. And so I picked up two of these. I do wish it was in black and white. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I just couldn't pass up the fact that the Dollar Tree had fabric. And since I'm Crafty Life Mom, of course, I had to pick up a couple of those. Now, moving on to some of the other fall things. Every year, the Dollar Tree has pumpkins. I picked up a couple of different pumpkins, um, including this like white styrofoam one and this ceramic. I picked up a couple of these ceramic white with like a metal leaf pumpkin. These are super cute. I love the neutral tones. I plan to use that in my home, which I will share with you this year, how I actually decorate. And so I thought this was super cute and picked up a handful of those. I also picked up, which is new to me this year, I didn't see these last year, but I picked up a couple of these like corn husks and they're kind of like beaded, jeweled a little bit. They are super cute, super on trend, and they are also very good quality considering that it's from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Um, I think I might display these somehow in a floral basket or some kind of floral arrangement. I'm going to use them either in that or maybe on my coffee bar just kind of like sitting and angled. I'm not sure yet, but pick up a couple of these. They're super cute and they didn't have many, so look out for those. Those are super cute. I could see doing like a whole tablescape for like Thanksgiving or fall with some of those. So that would be fun to have. Then moving on to the florals. Look at this bundle of flowers that I got. I'm going to be using these in um, an upcoming DIY, just showing you how I make a floral arrangement. So the first thing up was the cotton stems. Super cute that I've never seen Dollar Tree carry the cotton stems before, and so I did pick up a few bundles of those. 
and some of these hydrangeas. I love the deep purples and blues in these flowers to kind of bring in down some of the muted oranges and reds. And then some pumpkin filler sticks. And these are pretty big, pretty long stems for the Dollar Tree. That is super good. There's not a lot of pumpkins that come on it, so I definitely got a couple of them to kind of keep it full. But I just love the look of these colors together for this year. I'm probably gonna add some more and go from there. So go to the Dollar Tree and check out those florals. Now I also picked up some acorn uh, scatter. I plan to use these in a DIY that I'm going to do coming up. So if you see those, you might wanna pick them up. And I picked up this Happy Harvest wooden decor sign. I probably am not going to change this sign. I actually love the way that it is. The orange is a nice color. There is glitter on it, which for fall, I'm not a big fan of glitter, but I don't mind it. It's very subtle. So, and the uh, sign itself is like a shiplap theme, which I absolutely love. So I will probably keep this sign as is in display on my coffee bar or on like a coffee tablescape or something like that, or in a tiered tray like we made the other day. Last items for fall that I picked up, I went ahead and picked up these window clings. I don't necessarily need these. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them in a DIY, but it was the only one that I saw sitting out. I'm not sure if they were pulling them out at the time, but I went ahead and grabbed it and put it in my cart. And then I picked up these wall sticker decals. I've seen this one before, but as I was looking at it, I thought, okay, I have an idea for that. And so I'm going to make something with this um, decal sticker vinyl, if you will. So stay tuned for that DIY and be on the lookout for that. And then I also picked up a couple of these coffee clip um, stands or like picture frames. I picked up a couple of those. I have a DIY for these coming up, so stay tuned or grab some of these if you like anything pumpkin spice. I have an idea for this coming up. Lastly, I grabbed a couple of organization bins. I've been looking for the gray colored ones. I finally found them at my Dollar Tree. And so I picked up just a couple of these bins right here and a couple of the bigger totes or plastic organizational bins right here. And I plan to use them to store some items around my home and in my craft bins that you kind of see behind me. Uh, the last thing that I picked up was from the kitchen section. It's just one of these pot holders that is flat and it has the pocket here because I have a DIY I have made for the last couple of years for people as gifts and so I plan to share that with you guys. Um, I'm sure you've seen them done before but I have some files that I'd like to include so I will be showing you my DIY for these pot holders. And then that's pretty much it. That's all I picked up for this run of a Dollar Tree haul, so stay tuned. I have a lot of DIYs that I want to do this fall, and I hope to share them with you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye!